she's putting all our, our, our cars down on the table Knowing there's no way that she'll be able to win this one But she's somebody else in the making first She's just gotta stop hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is ebony if you are new here and today's video i'm giving you guys all the cleaning motivation so if you are needing some inspiration to get something done today this is definitely the video for you and i'm excited to take you guys along So normally you guys see me in the bedroom first, in my bedroom first. However, I wanted to change it up this go around and we're starting in Eleni's room. So I'm definitely getting some spring cleaning done. I'm going to be dusting. I'm going to be, of course, just tidying up each room, but also doing a little bit of detail cleaning as well. So let me know in the comments below if you have started your spring cleaning or if you're just not a spring cleaning person. But yeah, just let me know in the comments below. Cause that is all you got in the end You got in the end But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like this forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like this whenever she leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space so all I'm using to clean the blinds, I'm just spraying my microfiber cloth with a Mrs. Myers spray that I always use, the all-natural, all-purpose spray. And then I was just wiping everything down. I did change up my routine, I think, in the living room, in my bedroom, and I found that that worked a little bit better. So um, definitely use a duster first and then wipe it down. Um, you know, it'll help with not having the dust stick to the blinds so make sure to dust with a duster first and then wipe it down after that So next, I was just wiping everything down, um, like her dresser. I'm gonna wipe her nightstand down. And then I was um, wiping her, like her decor on the wall as well. So I just try to make sure to wipe everything down. And that's pretty much what my spring cleaning consists of. So of course, cleaning the windows, and I'll have to do that another day because I didn't clean the windows itself. I just cleaned the window seal and then the blinds, but then I'll come back and clean the windows. And then um, I'll just dust the baseboards because I vacuumed today as well. So you'll see me doing that in a few minutes. But, and then of course, I will follow up with cleaning the baseboards another day but honestly that's pretty much what my spring cleaning consists of i try not to be too um, strenuous whenever it comes to spring cleaning i know some people would take everything out of the room and then clean the room and then put it back but um we're not doing all that i try to keep my house pretty tidy and clean and maintained to where i don't have to do such a huge clean uh, spring cleaning from my window sounds coming up like the day before you're like a stone on my pillow i don't make a sound when i shut the door oh, you don't have to wake up yet oh, we can spend all day going to go ahead and finish vacuuming Eleni's room and then we're going to move into her bathroom as well so I'm going to detail clean the sink I just recently cleaned the toilet and the shower so I'm not going to do that but we are going to detail clean the sink and then we'll move on to my desk area shut the lights go in front Just looking at you makes my 
One thing I really want to do in this bathroom is just decorate the sink area. I feel like it's missing something. It just looks a little too like plain Jane to me. So um, that is one thing I have on my to-do list is to just maybe add a piece of decor or maybe change up the towel. I don't know. I, I definitely need to do something to um, to elevate this this area. Your favorite music on all the way, baritone. Mm -hmm. Shut the lights, go in for a ray. We can spend all day in. So to clean my mirror, I just use a Windex and then, of course, to wipe down the surfaces. Um, I just used my Mrs. Meyer spray with my microfiber cloth. And then all we're gonna do next is straighten up her shower just a tad, and then we're gonna make our way into my desk area. We'll have a Netflix marathon, Kenny G saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite music on. So we're going to start with this pile of clothes. Um, so one pile is going to go in my storage building for next winter and then the other pile I'm just going to donate to Goodwill. So um, I recently did a declutter with me. Um, so it was like decluttering and organizing my closet space. So if you are needing any type of motivation like that, I'll go ahead and put um, the link in the description if you want to check that video out after this one. But so i'm definitely loving my new closet space and how i reorganized it but we're gonna go ahead and get all of that up and then we're just going to tidy up in here honestly there's not much to see in this room because we haven't decorated it or bought any new furniture or anything we're just trying to you know take it slow since we just recently moved into this new space but I'm just going to clean this area up and then wipe down my desk area. And then of course, detail clean the, um, the blinds and the window seals. Now that we have tidied the closet area, we're going to move on to wiping the desk down and then, like I said, cleaning the blinds as well. Too late to talk and fix whatever's broken. I always thought love like ours would last. I never knew love could pass. Tomorrow comes. That nightstand was actually in the master bedroom. So we recently got two new nightstands from the Article Furniture Store. I'm definitely loving the new nightstands. Um, so I'm just trying to debate if I wanna keep that gray nightstand for this room for when we do get like a sofa bed or something like that for when we have guests or if I just want to donate it or sell it. Um, just because I'm not really into grays anymore, I'm definitely like a neutral person now and loving like a lot of beige, whites, and cream colors. So um, yeah, I'm still trying to debate. That's honestly why it's just sitting in this room, just to figure out what I want to do with the next. Oh, Emily, when did the magic stop for us? Oh, Emily. The last thing we're going to do in this space is vacuum and then we're going to move into the living room.
we do have quite a few things to do. So I want to just tidy up, of course, the space. And then we're gonna go ahead and clean the entertainment center. So we're gonna remove everything off of it, wipe it down, and then put everything back. And then I'm also going to vacuum the rug. And then we're gonna use my wet vac to vacuum and mop the, um, the wood floor. And then I'm also going to detail clean the blinds and the window sill as well. Another thing I wanna put on my to-do list is um, remove the couch cushions and vacuum underneath it. We're honestly pretty good at doing that just because we wash the cushion um, covers quite often. So whenever I do that, I try my best to vacuum it then um, or you know clean it up then, but I definitely need to put that on my to-do list for the next time I do um, my cleaning. enjoying this video so far and you feel like it's giving you the motivation to get something done I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of my YouTube community here I post on cleaning organizing laundry motivation decluttering anything to motivate you to get something done if you're needing that type of inspiration in your life right now you'll definitely love it here and like I said I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube community here Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. I also want to mention that I didn't tackle the kitchen um, in this video, but I did um, record me cleaning the kitchen on a TikTok video. So I'll put um, my TikTok link down in the description box below if you want to see me finish tackling the rest of the house. So I did everything up until I got to the kitchen. And like I said, I recorded that video, but I did put it on TikTok. So if you want to go and watch that, I'll put that in the description box below. You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down the ottoman that I just moved I am trying to I'll probably end up selling it on Facebook marketplace or either donating it or giving it to someone because it really gives me a farmhouse vibes now and I'm wanting to change it into um, I want to do like a coffee table I noticed that Target has a really good one on sale for about $250 right now so um, for some reason like I said it's giving me farmhouse vibe and I'm more into like modern decor now and like I said the neutral colors and maybe like a lighter wood tone so um, but yeah I am on the lookout for a new coffee table so we're gonna switch that ottoman out um, very soon Hi. even if the sky is falling down So 
we are almost finished with the living room all i need to do is mop the hard floor as well so this is my wet vac that i use um pretty much weekly or every other day honestly um, we use it for everything like spills and vacuuming and mopping and you know all of that um but yeah so i'm gonna use my wet vac to vacuum and mop the hard floors and then we're going to go into the bedroom after that and that's pretty much the last room that we're going to do and then i also am going to mop the bathroom as well without the pain behind it i'm moving on now i'm not trying to impress you anymore spending all this time trying to get you on my mind oh it feels so good Take you off the pedestal I don't know what I was thinking Let it be more than drinking And going back to your place Never to see you again That was simply delusion Followed up with confusion That was just substitution For a lonely bed So that's impressive How much I'm messing With my feelings and my heart I also want to talk to you guys about what my goals are for this room. Um, so I have quite a few things I want to add to this room. One thing I want to do is change up my duvet cover. I um, I love the green, I definitely do, but I'm ready to change it up a little bit. Maybe go with like a beige or cream colored um, duvet cover. And then I want to find some decor pieces to go above the bed as well. And then I also need to purchase two lamps to go on the nightstands. So I have quite a few pieces to purchase for this room. So um, maybe I'll do like a bedroom makeover or I'll probably incorporate it in a cleaning video. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure you have your notification bell on as well. So it'll notify you every time I post new content. And so that way you'll get, um, like I said, you'll get notified every time I post a new video. The window sills in this bedroom was by far the worst. Um, that was definitely a really good before and after. Um, so that was much needed. And hopefully it doesn't get too dusty um, here on out because I know we noticed that when we stayed on the bottom floor, um, it, the window sills got really dusty because they would come by with like the leaf blower and stuff. But now that we stay on the second floor, I'm hoping now that I just cleaned it, I won't have to do it as often as I did in the um, previous place. cleaning this space with vacuuming the rug and the carpet and then we're going to vacuum and mop the um, bathroom as well I recently detailed clean the bathroom so I didn't record that I feel like I record that all the time but um, that is one thing that I did do I did de detail clean the bathroom as well Delusion followed up with confusion that was just substitution for a lonely bed so that's
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you to get something done today. And as I always say, if that's to simply make your bed, I'm still proud of you. And I hope it motivated you to get some spring cleaning done. And just remember that you don't have to get everything done in one day. It does take time. It took time for the house to, you know, get dusty or to get a little messy. So it's gonna take time for you to clean it as well. So make sure not to stress out about that. And of course, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.